so first question is um what's it like in oregon right now oregon's actually been great we've um we've been in central oregon staying in a, a place called sun river for the past uh almost two months and uh yeah it's there's miles and miles of hiking and mountain biking trails around us we've been going out hiking or running around here uh pretty much every day for the past two months and uh yeah it's actually just fantastic it's it's been great to be here i mean when we first got here there was snow a few days and now we're getting up it's you know 30 degrees a few days uh 30 degrees um, celsius so it's like we've had the whole gamut of weather and it's just nice to be home that's cool. All right. So next question is, um, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, your transition to BLE as an English teacher. So could you just describe okay. a bit how you've decided to structure your class? It's funny. Before we left, I had even, you know, anticipating that there might be some problems. I had set up that, okay, the first two weeks after spring break, we're going to be doing this and I just kind of told people ahead of time and it wound up being easy because I, I had a couple of things set up. Um, it was actually to go into doing Spike Lee's Do the Right Thing and, and do some um, movies looking at that and it was I guess the second week I realized it's actually pretty easy if I just post on Sunday or Monday what's going to be coming up for the week, set up the regular sessions, um, have some sort of response where people can jump into either um, responding to each other through kind of a comment thread or having a direct response that goes straight to me. And I set that up early and it's, it's actually been a pretty easy transition. Um, we've worked now through, while well, we did the movies, we did uh, Betty Frieden, we've done um, Doll's House with an HL group. It's, it's funny that everything has just kind of worked out and I, I really hit all of the uh, content I wanted to hit this year. And, and it's, I get pretty good uh, feedback from the students that it's like, it's been pretty easy, easier transition than some classes, I think. And I guess my next question was, do you think your approach has been successful? So maybe you could elaborate a bit more on like student feedback and that sort of thing. Yeah, the, uh, the student feedback has, has actually been, they've acknowledged that I'm realizing there's, for my subject, for what I'm doing, I don't have to have a daily check-in type Zoom session. That really just giving people writing time to process the writing and a way to respond to it. Um, and we are doing, I mean, we were doing regular, I would split into smaller groups, so groups of eight or 10 in a Zoom session for a little bit shorter time. But wind up having just the same kind of discussions we would have in class. Um, just because I structured it in a way that people could could connect. Um, working in a small group instead of trying to have 20 people in a, in a Zoom once, you can actually talk to each other and, and work through this. And I feel like that's been really pretty successful. And this, the students that I've heard back from have been uh, pretty happy with it. Okay. And um, next question is, uh, what have you been doing to stay active? <laughs> Uh, I've been running a lot more than I had in, in quite a while, um, trying to get out three or four times a week, uh, anywhere from five to five to 10K runs. Um, past few weeks, we've been doing a lot more hiking. Really, a lot of the trails have opened up here, all the parking areas at the trailheads. So been doing a lot more hiking. Um, just try to get out into the forest and, and be active that way. Uh, gone mountain biking a couple of times. Um, not that's not my strong point mountain biking biking in general but uh yeah i've been trying to get out and just do something different and actually went out um once and did uh canoe on the river with the mcgarrigals so uh that was a lot of fun too okay and then also just um an, another question so what have you been doing to keep yourself mentally stimulated um it's funny i've been not watching any TV. I haven't wound up being into the whole uh, escaping stuff that way. I've been reading some, but actually been doing a lot wider variety of, of reading that way. I think actually the mentally, um, trying to say mentally stimulated, mentally relaxed, actually for me, it's been nature. 
just being outside and, and spending a lot more time out doing things that way has actually been better for me. It usually is better for me anyway. I'm not a, I'm not a TV or movie type. Yeah, and I guess just a, another question, thinking about VLE and how, uh, I guess, the IB itself has changed as a result of this transition. Mm -hmm. So just wondering, do you think that this will have an impact on your regular class structures once we go back to, um, I guess, being in school physically and things kind of return to normal? I'm sure it will because um, kind of this almost weekly module type thing and focusing on making so much more of the work much more independent that way, um, I think is something that's going to last. Um, quite honestly, I don't see going back to the same kind of um, butts and seats classroom setting. I don't think that happens um, for the next year or two. Just there's too many unknowns and there's going to be too many interruptions, too many um, uh, people not able to make it in the country for this or that. I, it's, it's not going to be the same. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm taking what I've done from this. Definitely I'll be using the same kind of module idea, the same kind of response. Um, yeah, and make it where it can be so much more independent on that part of the work. Yeah, and I think um, going off of what you said, it's kind of interesting because even today I looked at my power school um, thing and it had like the schedule for classes and it had the regular block times like 8.20 to um, yep. 9.40 and like all of that stuff. And I for forgot that those existed. So for me, going back mm -hmm. to a regular length school day is going to be a bit difficult. And then, mm -hmm. and then I'm um, also, uh, I, I, sorry, I, I, go I, I just don't see it happening quite that same way. It's, it's um, you know, an hour and that's, that's your only focus. No, I, I think real life is a lot more, here's your list of tasks to do and get to them, you know, kind of prioritize and work that way. I think we need to acknowledge that school, especially um, grade 11 and 12, we can open up to do more of that. I really feel like we, we should, and, and this VLE should prove that that is, that is something we can work toward. Yeah, and I think also being able to like take tests in bed, it's going to be hard to to go back to um, sitting in a classroom and like having Miss Henderson or someone like looking at me. I'm not cheating or anything, but it's very comfortable. Okay. <laughs> and then um, also uh, just lastly, any last thoughts or tips or comments or anything that you'd like to share with people? I I think the um, the hard part this summer this for this break is we're not going to be able to disconnect quite as much um, especially IB students heading into into grade 12 you will have your university application stuff you will have the EE there's a bunch of the IA stuff that you have to keep working on that um, as much as there's been an, a level of intensity through part of this uh, working through the VLE that everybody kind of needs that break. Yeah, take a break, but you're not gonna be able to take like six weeks off. It's gonna be more like take a couple of weeks, then really focus in, you know, maybe sit down and do your do your EE. Um, IB suggests that an EE is a 40 to 50 hour project. Well, that's one work week. You know, it's like maybe take a few weeks off, then boom, do an intense week on the EE or, um, Similarly on some of the IAA stuff, you know, work through those and great, here's just take a couple of days, work on the IA, take a few more days off and work on another IA, that, that's gonna be helpful. And the university part is really gonna be the big part um, with us not coming back to late um, with the university application process the way it is, uh, especially those going into grade 12, you're gonna have to do a bunch of that work through the summer and just kind of plan it out and, and think through that. For the other grades, it's going to be the same thing, kind of keep the momentum going. Um, definitely be reading, looking at things. Um, don't just drop it all and, and pay no attention until August or September. You're going to have to continue doing some stuff just to uh, stay sharp and stay ready, especially if it winds up that we don't come back as, you know, everybody's on campus September 1st. If that doesn't happen for some reason, it's going to be a it's going to be important to keep those skills going all the way through the summer so you're ready for whatever. Okay, thank you very much, Mr. Dibbler. Yeah, no worries.